Hello everyone, my name is Jordan and welcome to Crocodile MTG. If you're new here, Crocodile MTG is a YouTube channel focused on competitive gameplay of the game Magic the Gathering, but also how to learn and grow as a Magic player. So if you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing and I hope you enjoy today's video. Uh, and we'll jump into a match. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, uh, welcome. My name is Jordan, I run a YouTube channel called Crocodile MTG. And that being said, let's go ahead and hop into game number one. Thank you all so much for joining me this morning. So being on the play is good in this deck. Uh, we will be on the play. Ugh. This hand is almost good. I'm very hesitant to keep this hand. If we had a force of will or force negation or even a daze, I'd be okay with keeping this hand. Um, but I'm very hesitant since we don't have we don't have the force of will. I think this has to be a mulligan here, despite having the Delver in hand, which is pretty unfortunate. Alright, I think this hand is keepable, but again, it's not very fast. Um, I actually think we just put Hooting Mandrills on bottom and just keep more of a control hand. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, someone can probably correct me on this. Uh, someone that played uh, Rug Delver a little bit more than I have. That first hand was so good despite having like nothing to protect our Delver. Let's go ahead and mulligan down the five here. This hand's close, but I don't think we can play it. All right, this we're gonna keep this hand. It's not very pretty though. Alright, I'm going to put Volcanic and Flooded Strand on bottom and just uh, go with the flow of things here. Hopefully we're not going to have to exile Oko. Alright, our opponent kept 7, I believe. Arcanist Spell exiles. Yeah, I don't think, um, I don't think the things that exile with Arcanist is too big of an issue. Um, a lot of times mandrels that's another thing that uh wasteland interesting I guess that's one thing I wish we had in this uh this hand is a wasteland All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fetch, fetch up a uh, red source here. Fetch up a green source. This isn't pretty, especially since we don't have like a ponder or brainstorm yet, but we're at least gonna try it. All right, they played Ancient Tomb for the turn. Hopefully I'm not gonna have to just Um, all right, I think this is okay, especially since we didn't really have the hand we wanted with the, uh, I guess the big thing here is whether or not they, um, we have Oko, is what I'm trying to say. So next turn I'm going to play Oko, and then hopefully we can just, uh, keep people off of, um, getting there. So they likely are going to be able to... Alright, there's Force of Negation. So I'm a little more comfortable here just playing the Oko. I'll take up on um, and create a food. And now we have Force for anything they play. Unless they have... Uh... Alright, there's that Wasteland. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and force that here. 
and hopefully Oko just falls to, uh, we're relying heavily on this Oko here, but hopefully Oko just falls to uh, one here. All right, polluted delta. Again, this hand was a little awkward. Maybe I just pass. Act like I'm holding something. Again, if we were able to keep like that first or second hand, I think we would have been pretty okay. But again, I, there's so many things that we wanted to make sure we weren't hitting. All right, there's endless one. That's fine. Comes a four, four. All right, I think I have to trade here. It's Pretty unfortunate. Chalice of the Void. Do they want to play that for zero? Elvish Spirit Guide. Play an Eldrazi Mimic. Oh, Chalice on one. That might be it. That might be it for us. Our hand definitely kind of sucked. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and concede here. Uh, that was pretty unfortunate. Let's go ahead to the sideboard. I think I like a braid in this matchup. Um, you can see bringing in Brazen Borrower. Bringing in the Ancient Grudge would be specifically for the uh, Chalice of the Voids that we don't want to see. Uh, I like the spell snare here. I could see taking out the spell pierces. Again, our opening hand just kind of sucked. It's cutting the negations incorrect. Maybe it's just spell snares. Because a lot of times what we're going to want to do... I guess on the play we want to cut spell snare and keep up force. And then we'll bring in these uh, braids and brazen borrowers. Because uh, a lot of times we're going to want to keep delver and then um, see where that goes. Let's go ahead and play this. Hopefully we can get a better opening hand. Our opening hand kind of sucked. Better hand, better chance. Let's see how uh, you fare this time exactly. That's the thing with Legacy, is it? This hand is great, other than no lands. Alright, this hand's really good. Let's keep this. Uh, we'll go ahead and put Tropical Island on bottom. That way we can uh, fetch it out. I think with this hand, um, we probably just grab a Tropical Island here. Uh, the reason for that is they have wastelands, and I don't want to, like, we want our volcanics later in the game. So we'll go ahead and delve over here. Pass. Now we have negation or daze, depending on what they play here, so hopefully they just go all in on whatever they're playing. Alright, we're going to go ahead and daze this. Oh, they have Elvish Spirit Guide. That was kind of slick, opponent. Okay. Let's see if we get the flip here. Do you want to reveal Brazen Borrower? I don't think this works, no. Alright, Hooting Mandrels is okay. But I think that is going to be the last card on our list. Um, I like... I like Lightning Bolt here. I 
And I think we just have to pass with Brainstorm on top. And then if they have any removal spells, we can just uh, force negation it. But unfortunately, yeah, it looks like we're going to get Thought Not Seared. So this is going to be pretty aggressive. Uh, we'll actually see if they take the Lightning Bolt here. I can see that. Brazen Borrower also slows them down quite a bit. I don't think they take the Force Negation. According to Goldfish, Eldrazi... Uh, Eldrazi's at the top of the uh, leaderboard at the moment. All right, I think we just have to get aggressive and hopefully their land, um, their lands here don't work in their favor. Would revealing brazen work? No, because it's a creature in all other zones other than, um, other than when actually they're playing the adventure side of the card. Yeah, unfortunately that doesn't work the way we want it to. All right, that's fine. I'm gonna probably bolt the mimic here. We're getting hit for four and then they threaten lethal next turn. So we're gonna have to find another something. Alright, let's go ahead and brainstorm now just to use our mana. Alright, Tarmogoyf isn't bad. I think I want to draw the Oko because I think Oko's the only purpose for Oko here is uh, just to get force and negation. Tarmogoyf actually is pretty good here. Especially as a 4 or 5. Yeah, and Reality Smasher. I think that just wins. Well, this is why Eldrazi is at the top of the leaderboard here. That kind of sucks. Axes. Yeah, there's no way we were drawn out of that. Alright, well, let's go ahead and jump into another one and see how we do. Um, that kind of sucked. Maybe blue-white is a little bit better. I feel like I could have taken a lot better of a controlling approach against Eldrazi in that. Um, I can see even playing, like, a Brazen Borrower or two in the, in the deck. I, I'll have to update it. I haven't played um, blue-white in Legacy since, since, like, September or October. I think so we'll have to see here I think I'm fine though uh, definitely uh, checking out uh, playing blue white maybe after this league again I just wanted to get a feel for the uh, the meta game all right so we played against Eldrazi aggro I never really had issues with that, those decks before. I'm actually pretty surprised um, that played out the way it did. I just feel like I get coffee all over my face. All right, this hand's actually really good. Uh, we're not on the play though, so hopefully we're gonna... We'll go ahead and keep this. Opponent fetching up something. Astrolabe. Okay. Do we fight over the Astrolabe? And for people unfamiliar with Legacy, that's a legitimate question. Do we fight over the Astrolabe? Astrolabe is a ridiculous card at the moment. Let's hope to get lucky. No wasteland, no um, 
No wasteland and hopefully a Delver flip. Brainstorm's fine. This is a dedicated legacy player. They got the the foil land, uh, foil brainstorms and everything. Good morning and thank you all for joining me today if you're new to the channel and just tuning in my name is Jordan I run a YouTube channel called crocodile MTG uh, and we also stream t on Twitch Mondays through Fridays uh, 8 a.m. until 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so thank you all so much if you're joining me today all right let's see if we can uh, blind flip this Delver no that's all right though I could just grab a Volcanic here and play this Goyf. We can at least protect it. They don't seem to have any counter spells at the moment. They're probably a, a Planeswalker deck most likely. And hopefully they don't have... We'll see here. Two blue, Counterbalance. Is this worth fighting over? I don't think so. While it is good, um, I believe our best play here is to keep up. No, <laughs> that's pretty unfortunate. Let's start with playing the Arcanist because if it goes in the grave, that powers up our um, powers up our Tarmogoyf here. Chooses not to use Counterbalance. Okay, so they know what's on top of their library. And unless they have a board wipe, ooh, what if they do have a board wipe? If they have a board wipe here, we might be SOL. I think I'm okay with them just taking out the Arcanist. Arcanist is good, but we don't have a Brainstorm or anything to go with it, so. No, no flip on the Delver. This is very, very unlucky. At this point, we could just hard cast the Force Negation, counter anything that's a non-creature spell. Hey, LL Lounge, thank you so much for that raid. LL, thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and just pass and see how it goes. Welcome everyone. If you're just tuning in, my name is Jordan. I run a YouTube channel called Crocodile MTG. Uh, we also are streaming Monday through Friday on Twitch at uh, well, you're here, twitch.tv slash Crocodile MTG. Um, but we're streaming until 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So thank you all so much for joining me today. LL, let's get some hype for LL here. So thank you all so much for. Uh, for joining us here, so let's go ahead and uh Oh no! Is it working? Let me know if that worked. Let me know if the sound works. For some reason I, I'm not getting sound on my end. LL Lounge, thank you so much here. Hype it up. Alright, they reveal Jace the Mind Sculptor off the top with uh Did you just cancel that sword? Yes I did. I just cancelled the sword. I cancelled with an exile, so uh, what's the what's the void shatter? Is that what the card's called? It exiles. Thank you so much, uh, LL Lounge, for the uh, for the raid there. If... All right, let's go ahead and see here. Hey Polaris, did um did that play any music or any sound or anything when that went off? I can't hear it on my end for some reason. Ooh, some legacy. I didn't even see what you were playing. Hey, LL. Thank you so much. Yes, it did. Okay, sweet. I'm going to have to fix the settings later on. Um, but yeah, I couldn't hear it on my end. 
Polluted Delta. We can just hard cast these Force of Wills at this point. Holy cow. LL Lounge, thank you so much for the uh, for the raid there. All right, let's go ahead here and attack. And hopefully, um, if our opponent just tries to play Jace or anything here, Snapcaster Mage. I mean, do we just hard cast Force here? No problem. I actually had people watching for once. So I figured it right. Yeah, thank you, LL. Um, let's go ahead and grab a Tropical Island here. Kind of just want to hard cast this Force. I know they have Jace on top, so if this is their only counter spell, there's no way. Oh, they have Uro. All right, this is kind of interesting. Why did we get a bonus off of Tarmogoyf? Is MTGO lagging? What is going on? Oh, in all graveyards, dumb. That was my bad. It's 10 at night, I gotta go get some sleep. Hey LL, thank you so much. I hope you had a great stream today as well. Uh, Polaris, that cancel is now just a hard cast force. So, exactly. Sorry, I have uh, some stuff falling over here. I think that's fine. They can gain some life here. Let the Uro go to the grave. I guess one thing with Uro, which is a little annoying, is that they can... Um, they're going to be able to... All right, so hold on. Let me Let me write this down. They have Jace... The mind sculptor. All right, let's go ahead and hop over. Come on, <laughs> let's flip this leg. Okay, we got a ponder. <laughs> I was like, come on, let's go ahead and flip this finally. All right, I think I'm gonna play ho uh, hooting mandrels here and leave up the uh, force. I want to just have enough threats on the battlefield where. All right, six. Cancel. Maybe I just... No, nah, I don't want to ponder here. I just want to go ahead and exile a force, exile polluted. Undo. 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 All right, I guess... Undo. There we go. Sorry. I have five mana at the tap, not... um. There we go. Unlikely they have a uh, unlikely they have a six drop in their deck. Terminus. Okay, they have Prima prismatic vista, so they can fetch here. I'm assuming they don't want to draw that one. LL, thank you so much for the raid. That was awesome, man. They use man generically, just to clarify. Uh, so. Let's see what they play here. I'm assuming they go for Jace. But if they do, like, I think that's fine. I don't think I want to counter here. What are they doing? Are those going all in on this Uro? I know their hand is Jace. And then did they fetch before? Cast Hooting Moundrels, use Counterbalance, Revealed. Turn seven. Okay, they just concede. All right, I was I was wondering here. I was like, they drew the Prismatic Vista, right? All right, so that was a pretty good spot. Um, so they do have counter spells. So that's pretty interesting. They have um, they have counterbalance, and that gets around Veil of Summer, doesn't it? Or does it literally say can't be countered? Spells you control can't be countered. Okay, cool. That was my mistake. Um, so I like the blue blasts and the pyro blast, not the not the braze volley here. The pyro red in summer veil. I don't even know if summer uh, veil of summer is correct here. I also think I like Sylvan. Arcanist is pretty good. I don't know if this is an Oko matchup. 
I know it's crazy to say cut Oko, but I, I'm not sure if this is an Oko matchup. Maybe I trim one Oko and see how that goes. We definitely want our forces and um, force of wills and force of negations. Days is fine. Spell snare is probably good here. Spell pierce is probably also good. I think the big thing we want to avoid is the. Um, Maybe I just got both Okos here. Like, I don't feel like Oko's that great. I definitely want the Red Blast and the Pyro Blasts. And maybe that's just better than the Spell Snares. I guess he's cutting the uh, Spell Snares here. I mean, Spell Snare is good. It hits things like, um, like Snapcaster Mage. I guess Veil only, maybe we don't want Veil. Maybe we just bring in the Pyroblasts and the um, the Sylvan here. The only issue I can see with Veil is they have um, Swords the Plowshare and I don't, like it doesn't, Veil of Summer just doesn't protect against that. Hey, thank you so much uh, Dom for the follow. Uh, let's get some uh, follower hype here with our Charizard. Thank you so much Dom for that follow, thank you. Hope that I was playing for you. I can't hear it on my end. You need threats and draw cards, not answers. Not answer. Yeah, so, well, that that's like what I was looking at here. Because now we have the Sylvan Library in hand, and I almost think it's just worth it to keep that. Um, so we do we just lead on Wooded Foothills here, and then... I think the only issue in this hand is we don't have a threat, but if we have card draw here, we can always just um, play Sylvan on two and eventually find a threat. Is this a keep or a mulligan chat? If you're familiar with Legacy at all. I guess if we play Sylvan, we can't we can't protect it. Like we can't force a uh, force of negation on our turn. Maybe this is a mulligan. All right, this hand's actually a lot better, I think. Again, we're missing a land. It's a little odd. Maybe we get on the five here. This doesn't feel great either. I think we're going to keep this, though. What was their mana base last game? Are they playing... They're playing Astrolabe, so they're probably not playing a lot of non-land permanent. So I guess Wasteland's not very good here. Oh, we have to keep two. Let's put Tropical. I guess let's keep Wasteland just to see. This isn't going to be good if they just lead with something, but I was going to say, hopefully they're just uh, going to slow down here. I think we go ahead and just jam this uh, Preordain. Let's grab a Tropical Island. I'm going to put the land on bottom. I'll put Force of Will on top. That way we can at least draw towards something. Like, if we draw a blue source off the top, just jamming this Tarmogoyf on two is going to be pretty nice. Is our opponent missing lands? They kept a risk at hand. Look at that. Now the other force will. So this is pretty good. So we'll just jam a uh, Goyf here. And we already have a 2-3, and we can make it a 3-3 three, three if we have to force anything. All right, Tundra is really good since we have this Wasteland. Waste. Uh, so I think I just, I think I just let them brainstorm. I don't think it. I think it's too greedy to just force the uh, brainstorm here. I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, let them brainstorm. 
hopefully force a threat. They seem not on a lot of counter spells, to be honest. Like, they're relying heavily last game on counterbalance. And once we have a threat down, I think we're just, uh, we're golden for the most part. I could see attacking in and lightning bolting our opponent this turn. I guess we don't even have to. We'll just hold the lightning bolt, I guess. I forgot they just brainstormed. I think I just hold the bolt for the moment. Uh, we'll play our wooded foothills. We'll go ahead and attack in. I think I'm fine with brainstorming here just to find like a Delver or something. Just find another threat. Go ahead and use the Tropical Island. Alright, what don't I want from this hand? I think I'm fine with keeping this brainstorm. This is turn 4, so we can play the land if we want. Maybe we just put our these bolts on top. Oh, that was our land for the turn. I would have put the land on top then and shuffled the land away. Land away. All right, we'll see how this goes. That was my bad. Tighten up my play a little bit. Okay. Uh, I don't think we care about this because we just have lightning bolts on top. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and brainstorm here first. Alright, Daze is pretty good. I think I'm just going to shuffle these lands away. I think I want another uh, tropical island here. And now creatures in grave, we can just attack with our four or five goif. We're looking in pretty good shape in this uh, at this spot. I think I just force here. Force pitching force. And now if they have a counter spell, we can just daze it. Unless they have their own force. If they have their own force, that's okay too. Because even if they make the Tarmogoyf into a elk, um, we can just attack with the elk at Oko and then, um, and then we can bolt it. Alright, so they're fetching here for something. And have like a Veil of Summer or something. Is it greedy just to daze this? Like, they're looking for another threat, I feel like. Or another counter spell, I feel like. I think we might just daze this here, and then... I guess we wait. We're going to win this counter war, even if they find, like, a force of will. I think the worst thing they can find is probably a, um... Maybe we did want to uh, daze this. I was going to say, the worst thing they can find is a, um... Swords to Plowshare here. We'll have to see, though. All 
right, force works. We can hit them. Oh, actually, I think we just win next turn now because we can just hit them for five and bolt them. All right, this is gonna be game. Yeah, and they're tapped out, so once they have something crazy. All right, and that's gonna be the game. All right, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let's go ahead and hop into match number three. Uh, if you're new here, if you're just tuning in, my name is Jordan. I run a YouTube channel called Crocodile MTG. Uh, we also stream currently Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to uh, 12 p.m. Uh, we're going to start getting more structured with our content on YouTube, um, but tune in every morning. Uh, we'll be here. Uh, today we're playing some Legacy. Uh, we're playing some Rug Delver. I think after this we're going to try like um, like just a straight blue-white blade deck um, with like Stone Forge Mystic and some uh, True Nem Nemesis and things like that. Just play like a blue-white blade. But thank you all so much for watching if you're uh, tuning in and welcome. Still waking up, getting into my morning routine, so drinking some coffee here in my baby BB-8 glass. Also an exciting news today. This should be the last stream we need before we uh, reach Twitch affiliate, so we should be Twitch. What is going on? Give me one second. My headphones are acting funny. All right, they should be good there. All right, uh, we would like to play first Wasteland. Ooh, this is risque. Is this worth keeping? I think yes. Blade is terrible in Legacy. I mean, I don't disagree, but the way I play Blade is a lot more controlling and can maybe be good. Um, I don't know. Again, I'm just testing. I'm just trying it out. So we'll see, Dom. Uh, I think this is keepable. Hopefully they don't just turn one wasteland. But even if they do... I think against most of the meta, this is an okay uh, keep. Let's go ahead and get a Volcanic. And play out this Delver. Snow, Astrolabe. All right, not very powerful. Is this the person we just played against? Okay, this is just instants and sorceries. All right, this makes my, um, my wasteland a little weird. I guess let's go ahead and play Wasteland and attack for one. This is a little, little odd. Do we just brainstorm at the upkeep? Let's try the blind flip. Cool, we got it. Not punished. Uh, here's the question is, do I brainstorm hoping to find another land so we can spell snare uh, on our opponent's next turn or do I just, um, do I just play the wasteland that's useless? I think we have to, we don't have to, but I feel like we should brainstorm, but maybe we just wait and react. Maybe that's our goal here. Attack for three, react. Filter it. Swords the plowshare. Alright, 
there's a force of will. Another wasteland, that's not great. Maybe I should have just attacked before playing the wasteland here. Alright, we'll put those on top. Force pitching a uh, spell snare. We'll see if they have a counter spell here. If they force back, that's fine. Um, cool. The only reason I'm okay with this is because we're gonna just gonna jam Oko next turn and hopefully um hopefully be able to push through some damage. Brainstorm, sure. My dog said, peace I'm out. Hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone's staying inside and uh, still getting to jam some games of magic. He's very loud. All right, let's attempt to jam this Oko. Why aren't we playing Stifle? Okay, that resolved. Shouldn't we be playing Stifle in Del like in this version of Delver? Like this is just a list I pulled offline, but is that is that completely incorrect? I'm just looking at other lists um, here. All right, what are they gonna do here? Brainstorm. Sure. So we untap. Alright, they probably just brainstorm here, and then they can fetch away anything. I think that's fine. So now we just take up on our food, right? And then we uh, just attack. Another wasteland. Ugh. I mean, the other thing we could do is start exchanging troll things, but I don't think that's very good. I think we just take up an attack, start pressuring our opponent. My dog is having a hard time. I don't know if you can hear him in the background, but he's like. What he's trying to do is get up on my couch. He can't. Are you trying to get on the couch? Hold on. I'm going to take my cone off my dog. Come here. Come here, bud. Here. Just quit licking your paw, please. You're going to make that spot on it worse. There. Um... Okay, so I guess we hold this chain lightning. I don't even think it's worth playing the wasteland. Like, what are we gonna do? Make that force them to fetch? I mean, is that is that a plan to pressure our opponent? Is force them to fetch? I guess. My dog. Uh, I had to put my co a cone on my dog this morning. Um, one we had. Uh, he had surgery a few months ago. Um, but anyhow, he like. He has a spot on his paw where he must have nicked it or something, but it's like a hot spot. And he just like walks around and like limps on it. But then like because it bugs him, he like sits there and licks at it and it just makes the hot spot worse. So I had to like put him in a cone this morning. Um, because he, he wouldn't quit licking that spot. I'm like, dude, you got to stop. All right. I don't feel like this is good for our opponent. Like, I, I feel like Oko is just so broken. Sure. Alright, there's a land at least.
And we can gain some life if we need to, but I don't feel like we're going to need to for a while. Like, I can just keep upticking this Oko, and, like, is it worth bolting or anything here? I think we just want to hold our bol uh, bolts for our opponent. If they want to keep attacking this Oko, that's fine, I think. Alright, there's a Force of Will, which is good. So I do think I want to bolt next turn because I don't want our Oko to die. Or do I just hold up? Maybe I just chain lightning here. And then hold up Force of Will, hard cast. That's one thing here that actually we can do, is just hard cast Force of Will. That's the only good thing about these Wastelands. That's awkward with Chain Lightning. Like, it, if they... Let's grab a Volcanic. Hard cast Force of Will. My dog is happy, his cone is off, but now he's hanging out with us. Oh, okay. I was like, why did that do it like that? But it's because if they wanted to play... Um... Alright, so now if they have a Snapcaster here, we're kind of punished. Ugh. Ugh. Alright. We are kind of punished here now. They grab Swords of the Plowshare. They plow this. They attack Oko. Like, look how many resources they had to use on Oko, though. Like, yeah, it sucks our Oko died, but we need to find something else. There's an Arcanist. That's pretty timely. Storm count one. What's our opponent have that has Storm? Yep. Nothing we could have done there. Mainly because I was yielding, but literally, like, we had nothing. All right, hopefully we can find a cantrip like our opponent just did and get back in this game. We still have a play set of lightning bolts, so I'm not too angry. Do they just grab swords? No, they grab counterspell. All right, so our opponent has a counterspell on top. Do I just bolt? Put our opponent at four. That's pretty good here. Maybe we just hold for now. Try and find anything that can help us. Just find a spot where our opponent taps out for Jace or something, and then we can play Goyf. Attack for four. I mean, this is a clock our opponent has us on. All right, I'm going to try and bait the, uh, bait the counter spell here. They have a Snapcaster, and they can just Swords. Maybe I just play the Goyf. I'm gonna have to bait the counter spell eventually. And treat the Angels? Well, that sucks. Um, I don't think we're gonna be able to get through that.
for x equals 3. And now I think they can just attack for 4. Uh, no blocks. We gotta, like, cantrip into, like, two lightning bolts. Yes, I'd like to flip this over. Alright, here's our only chance. I don't think this works, but... Nope, that doesn't work. Um, concede? That sucks. So, what happens here? We block, they hit us for 12. And we die. Because this is literally the top of our deck. Yep. Alright, we're going to go ahead and concede here. Well, that was a, a timely win for our opponent. Concede to save time. Yeah, fair enough. Hey Dan, welcome back. They have counter spell, so gotta play a bit slower. Yeah. So what do we want on the sideboard here? Probably this is probably a blue blast deck. Or is it? Let's see, Jace. Not really. See, this is the thing with Pyroblast and Red Blast at the moment, is there's not like there's a lot of decks that are Yeah, I was debating Sylvan Library. And the thing with Vela Summer too, like sure you can get the counter spells, but the removal is just there's no there's no protection removal spells. Is Collector Oof just in here so we can stop? Um, maybe it is stop uh, stop Astrolabe, or do we just bring in the Abrade and the Ancient Grudge for Astrolabe? I feel like we really don't want to do that for Astrolabe, but I feel like it's okay. We have a Graft Digger's Gate, uh, Graft Digger's Cage. We can bring in. It's a little odd with uh, Arcanist, but it's not bad. You need a threat card draw, not answers, not oof. So bring in what? Sylvan Library and Brazen, and that it. Spell Snare, Spell, uh, spell Pierce are probably fine. Unless I want to swap it out with one of these uh, Pyroblast or Red Blast. Two Blasts. I feel like Spell Snare is pretty good. They have both, um, both uh, the Flying Snake and uh, Snapcaster Mage. I don't know why I can't think of the snake name. Uh, tch, tch, tch. What do we take out? Delver, Ponder, Preordain, Spell Snare. Force of Negation. We're on the play, so I think we want the days. Maybe I just trim one of these spell snares and call it a day. Yeah, that's what that's what I was saying. We're on the play, so we want days. Alright, we'll go ahead and play this out, see how it goes. Alright, this hand is medium. But I think it's... I think it's worth keeping because we can just go threat into threat into card draw. Maybe that was a mistake, but we'll see how it goes. They don't have Wasteland, so I'm fine with leading on Trop. You're not playing against combo. You don't need the two for one yourself. That's true, yeah. Alright, our opponent probably just astrolabes here. Lightning Bolt's good for a flip. I think we just Goyf here, right? Goyf's only for a 2-1, but they don't play Bolt, right? They're just playing um, Swords to Plowshare. Maybe I ponder here looking for a protection spell and then Goyf next turn. I think this is just a shuffle. Now there's another Goyf. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, attack.
Maybe I'm punished a little bit for not playing that Goyf last turn. Put Arcanist on top. Alright. Gain three. They ponder. I think that's fine. Do you daze here? I don't think so. I think we want to keep our mana up. That way we can just jam Goyf next turn. And then Goyf the turn after. What else are you going to daze? When they tap out for something. They tap pretty low. Especially later when they're trying to, like, uh, jam uh, Snapcaster Mage into things. Alright, I'm just going to jam Tarmogoyf here. We have threats, so we're just going to keep playing threats until one sticks. Are you talking about just dazing the Ponder? I don't think you daze the ponder there. Like, look. Now we can just... I don't think you daze the ponder. Like, they tap out quite a bit. Alright, what do we have on top? Brazen Barber. Alright, I think we uh, just play another Goyf here. Alright, now we're threatening lethal next turn, depending on what they have. Um, if they have Snapcaster, Snapcaster is not one we really want to... Um, Alright, we don't have a Wasteland, so that's fine for our opponent. Like, what if they just jam, um... Okay, I don't think... Let's see, four, seven... Yeah, I don't think this does it for our opponent. They have to have something in addition to this. Alright, there's another land. Alright, now I'm just going to attack our opponent. Alright, that resolves. So now I think I just go ahead and bolt. Alright, that worked out. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's correct to just counter the ponder. Um, I think in key situations where they only have, like, one or two cards in hand, uh, and they can trip, I think those are okay to counter, especially if it's a key turn, but I don't think we just randomly, like, throw out a daze into a, a pond or anything like that. I, I don't agree with that play. Alright, um... So we saw that they're playing more of a Planeswalker build now. We have They have things like uh, Teferi. Does that prompt on the play bringing in the Force Negations? Or on the draw, I mean. I think maybe we can trim the Spell Snare. It seemed like they cut a lot of their creature stuff out. I think I don't. I don't think I want both force. Uh, both force negations. I could see cutting minus two days. Bring in the forces. Do we trim another days though and bring in another spell snare or a spell pierce? Like, do we like one of these cards better than the other days is, or do we, are we just okay with just holding our own? 
We also have Veil of Summer. But again, I, I really don't want to get to Ferried here. Now, they, they have the, uh, the Death Touch Snake thing, too. I don't know why I can't think of its name at the moment. I like a one spell snare. I think that's fine. All right, we'll go ahead and play this. We'll see how it goes. All right, this hand's definitely a mulligan. I think this hand's a keep, and we put Brazen Borrower on bottom. And just hope we find another land. I think I think this is worth keeping here. Oko's not a land. All right, I think I'm just going to brainstorm now. That way I can attempt to play one of these threats next turn. That's not good. That's not what we want to see. <laughs> that is not, not great. All right, I think we're brainstorm locked. This is... This is okay, good, cool. Uh, I think I put an Oko and a Mandrels. And I'm definitely shuffling those away. Alright, now our hand looks really good, as long as we can stick something. Alright, upkeep, fetch. Go ahead and get a uh, Tropical Island here. We drew that brazen borrower that was on the bottom. It's a little odd. Uh, maybe we just throw out Arcanist since the, it's likely they have something here. We have multiple um, counter spells, so I think we're okay. Tarmogoyf is more aggressive, but I think overall Arcanist gives us a better game plan. Like we're going to be able to brainstorm a couple uh, turns in a row and be able to find uh, more threats. Ice Fang Quaddle, yeah. What are you crying for, Dom? Did you not like the, uh... Did you not like the... The Dreadhorde plan? Would you prefer Tarmogoyf? Alright, now what do they play? Do we just force pitching Oko? There is Hooting Mandrels. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and start with an attack here. Yeah, I committed to the value with Arcanist. Uh, go ahead and Brainstorm. Uh, yes, I'd like to cast Brainstorm. How do you like those? <laughs> this hand. Um, maybe we just... How big is Goyf right now? Instance, lands, no sorceries. Goyfs are actually kind of small here. I'm just going to put two Gwaifes on bottom. I'm just Hooting Mandrels. Oh, actually, Hooting Mandrels makes our... No, it'd be the same, it'd be the same amount, because our opponent's grave. I think this is fine, Mandrilling here. You're drawing, drawing two Gwaifes. Yeah, I know. Like, okay, the Goyf attack last turn two would have been only for a 2-3. Like, while yes, Goyf is good, like, I, do, I just don't know. Like, they were just so small.
I, I delved the freaking brainstorm off the uh, that I could have used. Well, now we're now we're committed to just. All right, I'm using the lightning bolt here. Hopefully they don't just have a snap. All right, I think this is gonna be good enough. Yeah, that counter war. All right, maybe not. <laughs> I mean, they could stabilize here. But we're just going to go goif into goif into goif. Alright, let's just see the attack. I feel like our opponent's hand's very... Very lax here. They have to have Snapcaster Mage in here to, like, stabilize. Alright, and that's actually the game. Alright, so that wasn't bad. I, I led on the Arcanist for the value. Uh, while, yes... We did brainstorm here. My my plan was just mandrilling and lightning bolting and just getting aggressive. Um, we did lose the value on the on the brainstorm, so that's something we have to consider. Um, but two goifs on top, it's unlikely to draw another. Those brainstorms were stressful. Yeah, um, it, it's unlikely to. With two goifs on top, it's unlikely we're hitting our third land. So I just wanted to play the the more straightforward play of mandrills and lightning bolting. Uh, getting the value off Dreadhorde for the following turn, and then uh, tapping out for a Goyth. Uh, so we're currently 2-1 and one in a league. We're up two games. Um, we're up two games against... Uh, against the Astrolabe deck, so hopefully uh, we can get another one here. That's a pretty cool uh, logo. All right, I would like to play first. All right, this hand's actually probably keepable, right? We have an Arcanist on two. You don't seem to plan out your cantrip, so you regret your land drops later. What do you, what do you mean, Dom? Are you talking about me? Well, that sucks. Okay. Uh, yes, I'd like to reveal that. Alright, we're going to Arcanist here. Unfortunately, all the value off Arcanist isn't going to happen. This chalice on one was actually pretty good, but hopefully we can just counter something. Your sequence, cast Ponder Brainstorm. I think my sequence was correct the last couple games, was it not? Next time we have hand with Ponder and Brainstorm and when to actually cast them, let, let me know, like... I, I'm open to suggestions. I want to become a better player, so if you have suggestions, just let me know. Um, do we care about this? Probably. Because we don't want them to just start wastelanding every turn. It might be silly, but let's just go ahead and clear our way and get aggressive. You're playing land, then casting Brainstorm, then you regret that. Well, okay, we did that the turn we had... Uh, I, I didn't think I was Brainstorming the turn that we had... Um, the turn that we had those three Wastelands. Like, I didn't think we were going to Brainstorm that turn. And we did uh, end up regretting that. You're correct. I should have I should have brainstormed at or I, I should have played my land on the, my second main phase, not my first. Uh, you are correct. That was an incorrect play on my part. 
Here we just leave our uh, flooded strand up. All right, two turn clock. Our opponent cannot use their ancient grudge, I don't think. Abrupt decay. Okay, that's unfortunate. I'd like to find a Goyf here if possible. Do we fetch just the deck thin? All right, this is probably getting dazed as long as we can. Yeah, we're definitely... Actually, I think we just cast this. Alright, I do think we fetch just to thin out our deck and shuffle. Alright, there's a wasteland. And now I think we wasteland the bayou. Attack. And now they have one green mana essentially, unless they want to use their ancient tomb. And that Chalice on one kind of crippled us here. So we're definitely going to bring in the uh, Abraid and Ancient Grudge. Well, that's unfortunate. Wasteland the Valakut, I think, is the correct play. So now we can't attack. I think our out is Goyf, um, which kind of sucks. Primeval Titan, yeah. We might have lost this game. They probably get a land that gains life. I don't know if they play that in the Legacy version, though. Yeah, ramp in the Titan. Ah, oh, they have another Valakut. Okay. Yeah, I don't even think uh, I don't even think Goyf does it here anymore. Exile our opponent's graveyard. Yep, sure. Take out the Arcanist. Get a couple of creatures. Yeah, there's just no way. We'll draw just to see what we draw. Yeah, and we're just going to concede here. That was pretty unfortunate. Now, this this deck's actually pretty cool and uh, decent. Alright, so here's where we want the Aether Gust, I think. We also want the Abrade and Ancient Grudge. None of these really do anything. I guess we can try to surgical extract their their Valakuts or um, Field of the Dead, but I don't think that's the route we want to go. I think on the play, again, I think we take out Force Negation. Spell Snare is not good in this matchup. Spell Pierce is kind of, I'm half and half on. I can see bringing in a Brazen Borrower just as an additional threat. I don't think we want the Surgicals, though. Surgical, how do you feel about Surgical Wasteland, uh, Dom, since you seem to know um, the matchups in Legacy a little bit better? Do you like Surgical to bring in? That way we can uh, Wasteland and attempt to extract? No? Okay. Alright, so I think I bring in the Gust here, the Ancient, the Abrade, and the Brazen Borrower. Do we want the Sylvan Library? I can see cutting the Spell Pierce for the Sylvan. Or are we just trying to be more aggressive than our opponent?
I don't know. I kind of like the Sylvan here just to help us grind through our deck and find the cards we need, but uh, I don't really think Spell Snare does too much here. So let's go ahead. Uh, we would like to be on the fly. We have a Wasteland, an Ancient Grudge, and a Force of Will. No threat. Is this a mulligan? We have the answer to Chalice on one. We have an Oko for a threat, but it's later in the game. I think this is too slow. Would you agree? I think we take a mulligan here. This hand's even worse. Um, we do have a Goyfon 2 and possibly an Oko. Maybe we keep this one. And just put the Hooting Mandrels on bottom. We do have a Petty Theft in case they Chalice on one. I feel like this is relying on too many of the the wrong cards, though. I think this is, a, again, a mulligan. All right, Wasteland, Volcanic, Brainstorm, Days. I think we put Chain Lightning on bottom. What would a hand look like here? Keep Days, Brainstorm in hand, put Chain Lightning, Ancient Grudge on bottom. I think that's fine. It's a little bit slower, but it's a little more controlling. Uh, I think I lead on the Volcanic, that way we can play Days in case they Chalice on one. Is this deck playing any Mana Ramp creatures like Simeon Spirit Guide or uh, Elvish? Uh, that sucks. Let's brainstorm here why we can. Uh, this is bad. That's not good. I think we just hold Wasteland now. Not good. No bueno. Now I don't even know if they Chalice in one, do we even counter it? Do we counter this, or do we just wait for, like, a green source or some sort of duel? The Crucible creature and the Exploration creature. Dom, would you hold the Wasteland here for, like, a Bayou or something, or would you just Wasteland this here? I'm not sure what the correct play is. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I just try to cut him off a of mana here and just slow him down enough. And hopefully we hit a land. We have counters or force of wills, so we can at least disrupt them a little bit. And my deck's lower on the curve, I think, than his. Or theirs, I should say. Alright, there's an Abrade. There's a Delver. And we're just going to start, start uh, watching turns kind of flash by. Uh, Cavern's not great here. I'd like to draw a Wasteland now. Nymph, okay. Dryad, yeah, it can't be countered. Sure. I think we get a Volcanic here. Uh, that way... I don't even know...
Maybe we just get a trop here and try the Sylvan Library. I don't know. We have a threat down at least. And now if they just try the Titan this turn, we at least have the counter spell. I'm actually a little surprised they use Cavern on... Alright, so I think I'm going to force pitching... So this is every land type. Do I just... Do I force pitching force and then... This is going to feel bad. I'm just worried about Veil at Summer. I want to be able to at least daze it. Like, I feel like they wouldn't just run it out here, but maybe they would. All right, Wasteland. Well, that sucks. Now I'm, now I'm ultimately punished for not using that force. Yeah, our opponent's just going to kill us now. All right, yeah, this game's over. I'm just going to... I'll wait till the end of this turn, but I'm just going to concede. Yeah, now they can just keep playing Wasteland. Yeah, this this kind of deck was the deck I was worried about running into, especially with playing Rug Delver, is uh, is because all our all our mana base is just non-creature, and they can play an additional land each turn. Yep. Yeah, th this is game. Yeah, there, there's no way I'm drawing out of this, so. That's just game. It's all good there. All good. Let's see if we can at least 3 2 the league here. Let's jump into another one. Rug Delver's a little, uh, a little rough around the edges. Like, it, there's a lot of wastelands running around, um, right now. And there's a lot of recent, uh, recent just straight like like counter spells matter still in legacy but there's a lot of ways to get around them now like you have your veil of summers now you have your uh your pyroblast and red elemental blast like but then you have uh, your like four or five colors like literally i think astrolabe is probably worse than death rate shaman for legacy overall i know that's an opinion not everyone uh not everyone agrees with, but Rug Delver I think is good, but it, it's just I don't know. The online meta is very different than my local, so All right, match number five. Let's go. Let's try to figure out if we can uh, get it or not. All right, this hand. I feel like this hand's okay, but we don't have anything for the Force of Will, and we're not on the play. I think this has to be a mulligan. Just against an unknown opponent. I think we have the mulligan here. This hand's not much better. I think we're going down the five. All right, this hand is okay. I'm not super excited with it, but I think we just put it like a, a daze and a mandrels on the bottom. And uh, cancel. Mandrels daze. Okay. What if they had an opening hand effect? All right. There's another daze. Let's go ahead and grab. Uh, Tropical Island, I suppose. Delver. Alright, let's see if we can blind flip this Delver. 
Maybe it's not as good anymore, like what happened to Grixis Delver in Modern. Yeah. Like, Delver decks are still powerful and good, but it's just so... Like, you just gotta have the hands. Like, they have hands that are just really good, but other hands are just... Hot garbage. Hot garbage. Like, you just gotta... You gotta try and get through. Like, being able to put a lot of pressure on your opponent is good in Legacy, because not a lot of people are doing it. They're just playing the controlly and grindy games. Maybe they require... Get updated. Yeah. I mean, it could be. Is it wrong just to counter the Astrolabe here? They don't have white mana. All right, let's blind flip. Another daze? Okay. I can get behind another daze. I'd prefer a force of will, but you know, a daze is what they what they're playing. It, it is what it is. Force of Negation. Interesting. So I think I had just attack for three and play the Goyf second main. And if they just have nothing here, I think we're in really good shape. Quaddle. Do I just double days? Like, is that... Is that wrong, Dom? Do I... Just use two days to take care of the quaddle. As long as you have at least three snow permanents. So snow, snow, snow. It's going to have death touch. Or do I just jam this four or five goif? Oh, no, three other snow? Oh, okay, cool. Sure, this works. I hope they block not realizing it doesn't have death touch. Good catch, good catch, Dom. That was my mistake. All right, I'll grab a volcanic here, just so we have all our colors. Now if they have a force all double days probably to protect the goyf. I think we want to keep the goyf around. They have another force of will. All right, if they want the, I mean, if they want it gone that bad. Now I just hope they don't have another snow permanent. And as long as that's the case, we, we can still get aggressive here. Or a removal spell. I don't want them to have a removal spell either. Oko, what is this? I haven't even seen this version of Oko before. All right, no snow. They probably just keep this as a blocker, I assume. There's our Force of Will, of course. Hey, Terran Order. Uh, thank you so much for the follow. 
throw out a nice little hype Charmander here for you. Thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Uh, we're going to go ahead, I think, and play the Tropical Island um, to start. And we'll go ahead. I think we're just attacking our opponent here. Or is it worth attacking Oko? Let's see. Attack. They take it up to four. They make this a creature. If you didn't daze, Quaddle would have death touch. If you didn't daze, Lave, Quaddle would have death touch. Oh, yeah, you're correct. But you're dead because it's Oko. So do I just go after our opponent here? Oh, that this was wrong. I should have attacked Oko here, because now they can just swap it. I think they just minus Oko here. In exchange. This is a sick art on Oko, though. I will give our opponent props for that. Oh, they just make an elk? Okay. Wasteland doesn't do a ton, but it does something. I think we just attack our opponent here again. And pray for... And they don't have they don't have an artifact here to just swap with Quotal. Uh, they probably just block here because Death Touch. All right, now we gotta pray for two bolts off the top. But it doesn't matter because they have Oko. Yeah, I think Oko is just gonna kill us. Is it better to take him off of white or black? What are they playing black card wise? Abrupt Decay maybe? I think I'm more likely to see like a Swords the Plowshare. I think Astrolabe here is fine. I don't think really a ton we can do about that. I think we just hold Force and Will. Uh, force of negation and force of will to just see how it um, just see if we can find a threat to play, which doesn't matter because Oko. But is it power? Okay, so if we find a Goyf, at least we'll be able to keep the Goyf around. All right, I'm just gonna play Flooded Strand here. We're not in great shape. Like, we're on a two-turn clock right now because of Oko. And now they're just actually going to gain the life. Concede to save time. All right. I mean, we have 20 minutes, but... I see what you're saying. I'm gonna take one more draw step, but if we can't find anything here, we'll just concede. Like, I, I literally need a Goyf right here. Oh, this version might have Uro. All right, that, yeah, that's not gonna win. That is not the winning line. All right, begin sideboarding. So you're saying, based on our conversations before, you just want threats and draw spells. And two blasts. And we're on the play, so we take out force and negation. 
Spell Pierce, and Spell Snare. Does this look correct? I think this looks correct. Uh, maybe one more Red Blast and just take out the other Spell Snare. I could see that because the only thing we could Spell Snare here is Quaddle or Snapcaster Mage. So I, I think it's actually better just to bring in the other Blast. All right, let's jam this. This hand's not, not great. No protection spells, but has a lot of threats. Maybe we just keep it because of the number of threats we have. Like, if they deal with our Delver and Goyf, then we can just turn three Oko. Maybe we just keep it. Grab a um a tropical here. Fetch Astrolabe. Astrolabe's so dumb. So dumb. Uh, Tropical Island is not something we want to uh, reveal. We have lands and grave. I think I just play Tropical here. And then Goyf. Another Astrolabe. I wonder if our opponent's missing a land drop. Okay, there's a land. Likely they have Swords of the Plowshare here. Red Elemental Blast. I will take that. Alright, if they have a Force of Will... I think we just play Oko here, right? I was gonna say, I don't think they have a Force of Will, so I think that's what we're playing through. They could have like Red Blast or something, but hopefully this hand's just aggressive enough to get through. Carpet of Flowers, at the beginning of each main phase, you haven't added mana to your mana pool. Add X, where X is the number of islands target opponent controls. Well, that's not great. So they just add three green. What are they going to play here? The blue. Their own Oko. All right, now we're just Oko battling, which is dumb. So I made... I just red blast Oko, right? Before damage. Red blast Oko. Tick up on the food. Attack for nine. Threat and lethal. Play the polluted delta, leave up this brainstorm. Alright, and that's the game. Cool. Alright, um, we're on the draw this time, so we want the force negations in. We want a couple dazes out. 
I think the rest of this is fine. I think we want the same uh, Pyroblast in over like Spell Pierce or anything like that. Oh, I didn't bring in the other Force Negation. I'm like, what is going on? Uh, yeah, I think this is fine. Go ahead and jump in. Yeah, we didn't see Uro that game if they do have it in their deck, which is good. The decks I've seen playing Uro and Legacy are just kind of trying it at the moment. So for the most part, all I've seen from Uro is like a one of in random lists. Threats and cards. I think this is a keep. I think we keep this. Turn one astrolabe. Okay, turn one ponder. Not an astrolabe. Do we just start? I think we just start with the tropical in ponder here. There's a Delver, a Strand, and a Preordain. I think, do we just shuffle this? Like, we have two threats in hand already. Or do we, do we order it um, Strand, Preordain, and then Delver of Secrets? And then draw the Delver, draw Preordain the following turn, shuffle, it, shuffle away the Flooded Strand, and play Goyf? I guess we want threats. Um, and we're not sure, I'm not sure how quickly we're going to get this uh, Mandrills out. I guess that's fine. Preordain's not the worst cantrip. Uh, yield. And if we have to, we might just force away this uh, this Delver. Tundra. Okay. That's fine. I still think next turn we're probably just playing this Goyf. And then hoping they just don't have anything. They're missing land drops. Um, Alright, so we're shuffling away the Flooded Strand here. Volcanic. All right, we're going to go if here. Oh, they're not missing land drops. Why did I think they missed a land drop? All right, if this is just uh, Oko, we're going to have to force it. I think we force pitching. Oh, this is the arrow. Okay, so you're right. Um, you're right there, Dom. The texture of your seven basically makes mandrel a dead card empty fast to cast mandrels okay uh do i just tundra here kill the tundra and play uh delver i kind of like killing the tundra here especially since they don't have uh Now I think we attack. I do think I Delver here. 
Do I preordain first and then decide if I want to play Delver or if I want to try and dig for a, uh, a Force of Negation if they play out this Uro? Maybe I start with a Preordain. Two Dazes. If they Uro next turn, they're tapping all their mana. I think I'm fine with taking a Daze here uh, and then leaving up Force Negation also in case they have a Force of Will. Uh, do I leave the other days? I'm probably going to play out Delver here, I assume. And then I leave the other days on top to flip the Delver. I think I like our spot for the most part. And then next turn we can just play out Mandrills as an additional threat. I don't think I fight over the Delver of Secrets here. I think I let that go. I think I need to fight over the Uro here. Like, if they just have another green source here and can bring back Uro, I think that's our fight that we want to pick. Yeah, they have the fetch land here for a green source. All right, I'm going to play out um, Polluted Delta here. That way we can just hard cast Force Negation if we need to. And I think I just attack with this 4 or 5. I think we're playing a little bit slower and grindier here. I don't think we play uh, Hooting Mandrills. Interesting. They have a Black Source here. Is this just uh, Abrupt Decay? Yeah. Alright, so we're going to play Mandrills next turn. Wasteland, the Abrupt Decay, or the um, the Volcanic here? I think I like getting rid of the Volcanic because they have Pyroblast. And if they have Abrupt Decay, that doesn't hit Hooting. Let's take out the Volcanic here. All right, they're floating mana. I think I just go to our second main and then play Hooting. Hooting. Snapcaster Mage, what do you target? Abrupt Decay? Yep. It's not gonna work out for you, opponent. All right, one, two. All right, they're not going to get the abrupt decay or anything here. I'm just gonna fetch and hard cast a daze. I think we want another volcanic.
We don't want that to land on the battlefield because it has death touch, and we just want to be able to trample over. All right, I'm fine with starting with a ponder here, just to see. Force of Will, Oko, Wasteland. I like a lot of these. I think maybe we just take the Wasteland here and take them off of the Underground Sea. And then um, leave up Days and Force for the following turn. And the ability to Brainstorm for this Force of Will. Uh, no. And I think the back of this Hooting Mandrel is, uh, might be what wins us the game here. Alright, two turn clock. We have Force of Will on top of our library along with an Oko. Um, and we have a Daze in hand. Daze and Force Negation. Alright, so Prismatic Vista, Fetch. What color do you want, opponent? Who would have guessed that Ape Creature would be played in Legacy, right? Brad Nelson. I think Brad Nelson who is who introduced that um, creature. All right. Uh, snow. Cast days. Opponent concedes. Okay. Not quite. All right. We have Oko on top. Uh, I think we're just going to... We can literally hard cast Force Negation next turn and then have Force Will back up. I don't think there's anything our opponent can do here. Of course, every time I, I say that, something bad happens and they end up being able to do something here. I think I just let them brainstorm. They have literally three mana open. So if I so let's say they have a Swords the Plowshare. They plow. I hard cast force negation here. They hard cast force of will. We just have the force of will. So unless they have like a veil of summer on top of that, which there, there's no way. I don't think they can. I think we just get it here. Carpet of Flowers, okay. I'm not interested in counting or countering that one. Attack for two? No? Okay. Add a bunch of mana? Like, if their goal here is just the Snapcaster Mage, I think that's fine. Because then we just, again, hit it on the way back. They don't even have... Okay. Oh, they have a Ponder? All right. I guess the one thing this does is buy him a turn. Because they can just double block. Oh, wait, they can double block the mandrels. Shoot. Maybe I was supposed to counter the Snapcaster Mage. Maybe that was wrong. But if they double block, their battlefield's empty, and then we just jam Oko. Wasteland won the game. Yeah, uh, being able to play days because of it. Alright, so this is hitting them down to one, so they can't fetch anymore, unless they gain some life somewhere. We Oko here. Create a food. Hope that's good enough. Alright, they get a bunch of mana. We're actually, so if they have like a, if they have something here, they might be able to, to stabilize. I, I think I had to, um, I think I had to counter that Snapcaster Mage last turn. Like it, it doesn't feel great, but then if they had like a counter spell, I could have hard cast Force Negation. I think that was my misplay. Is this like a Jace or something? Jace, I don't think I counter. 
Oh, an Uro. Well, I just let him know I had Force of Will. Stupid. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. They can literally stabilize here. So they play Uro. Because of Carpet of Flowers, I misplayed last turn. That's so stupid. All right, no, that doesn't work either. I think we just hold force a will. We can't do anything about this. Because they have carpet of flowers, they can just literally do it next phase. I messed up, by the way. Um, I just realized Carpet of Flowers can only tap for one color. Uh, they could have... If we countered that Uro, we could have uh, won there. I'm just going to go for it, though. I think we didn't get punished because we drew, uh, drew the Pyroblast. But holy cow, I did not expect... What, what are they doing? How'd they just take three? Whoa, go back to the game. So we got the 3-2. Hold on, let me let me go back to the game. What did they do here? Oh, they cast... Wait, what? Being attacked by a food. Cast Chain Lightning. Oh, okay, they just let it resolve. At first, sorry, I thought they were like force willing but they were at 1, so that worked. All right, thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you're watching this later on YouTube, uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. If you're watching this on Twitch, thank you so much for following along. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like and subscribe button. Also, check out the description below for more Magic the Gathering content. This was Jordan with Crocodile MTG, and we will see you next time.